what's gonna happen here. That kills a lot of people. That specific scenario kills a lot of people. Always slow down during intersections. Okay, we are vengeance. We are going back. We are gonna find this guy and we are gonna eliminate him. Uh, you can ask me I mean, You're in front of your kid. You I mean, even though she's really annoying, she does have a point. Oh, do you? Do you live in this bush right here or something? <laughs> I live on this road. <laughs> Uh oh, is it Moto Man this time? Before we get started, yes, I did go a little uh, Sharpie crazy on my arm. Don't worry, all of this is washable. It'll come off with just enough scrubbing. Yeah, I figure I'd show you guys. I mean, it's still healing. I mean, uh, drying. Let's get on to the video. What a lovely. Alright, first clip. We're here with Cedric Bradshaw on a Yamaha R3. And oh my god, that dog almost died. What the dog doing? That dog almost turned into a chili dog. Lost traction, swerve, but he he saved it. Thank you for not killing that dog, good sir. Oh wow, uh, somebody's chain's a little loose. You know, I, I just realized, I, I, I went back to rewind this video and I just realized that the clip is called Dog Caused Biker's Chain to Come Off. The dog caused that, okay. <laughs> I just like to imagine like the dog snuck into his garage the day before and just like loosened his chain in an elaborate evil plan to kill this guy. <laughs> sure, my guy, sure. All the doggo's fault, all the poor innocent doggo's fault, you, you, you monster. Well, not monster, you didn't kill the doggo, so you're not too bad. And you got your chain back on, very easily might I add. <laughs> might need to tighten that. <laughs> All right, blinker, move to the left. <laughs> they weren't even looking. Was that a dude or a girl? Whoever that was, I don't think they were looking. Women. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, use your mirrors, people. I mean, just because you got your blinker on doesn't mean that everyone's just going to stop. Wow. Yeah, that's not safe, dude. <laughs> You're in a constant state of speed wobble. Oh, snap. Okay, this clip has a soundtrack. Oh! Uh... Ah, uh, okay, I'm just gonna say it. That was unsatisfying. I hate that YouTube's gotten to this place where you can't show crashes anymore, and I mean, it is what it is. Like, you could still find crash videos, it's just you're not gonna find them from the big YouTubers because they're just not gonna risk getting striked, you know? It's gonna be smaller creators that give you that fix. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a horrible situation that this man experienced, but at the same time, I would love to see exactly how that bike ended up in that position. Wouldn't that be something to, to see? But we will never see it. Unfortunately, all we see is the aftermath. Poor baby. Evil Kia. Look what you've done, Kia. People are right to be stealing you. I'm just kidding. Don't steal cars because of TikTok memes. Dude's going really fast. Oh. No! That could have been so much worse. That was like the best case scenario for that. Well, not best case. So I'm looking back. I think he lost traction for like a split second or like, I don't know what that was. It was like that. You, you saw that it was like that little wobble. Maybe he lost traction. Maybe he was like kind of panicking. It's one of those situations where I think it was two things. First, he may have lost traction briefly for like a split second, but that was enough to make him freeze. And the second thing is that he stayed frozen and then he didn't look into the turn because of it. Because I don't think he was going too fast for that turn. Like, I feel honestly, if he would have recovered from that and then just looked into the turn, he could have made it through. But yeah, I could definitely have been a lot worse that could have been the edge of a cliff it could have been oncoming traffic lucky boy lucky boy uh oh oh no is that an old guy oh no here we go again this old guy's probably using every fiber left in his being just to keep breathing and this guy's about to bring the wrath of kratos on him you rode in the middle lane and then cut me cut into mine you gotta watch man you can kill me man classic line it's, it's all good, I'm not mad. Just like use your blinker to indicate which lane you're gonna choose uh -huh. and then stay in that one. I could have died, dude. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you didn't die. Okay, that was wholesome. That was actually good. You don't see that a lot. I mean, that's just the way to handle things, I guess. You know, just be nice, be respectful, say the classic line, you almost killed me. I could have died, bro. Have them acknowledge that and then just move on. But yeah, I mean, this is a good dude, you know? Hopefully the old guy remember this for more than a week. We're gonna die. We're dead. We're not dead. We didn't die. Good job, Rider Ray. Really good reflexes there. Man, that was really close. Almost disintegrating your knee. That's not a good lifelong injury to sustain, let me tell you. So let's go Dan Dan mode on this. We haven't really gone Dan Dan mode yet. See right there? He breaks, right? And that gives him enough time, like that extra few milliseconds to swerve. So it, it wasn't just one technique he used, he used two. Which means this guy knows his bike. He didn't just freeze up and just go head on into the car like 
some clips that we can't watch do. He knew he wouldn't be able to stop in time, not to mention that car dude wasn't really planning on stopping either. So the only option really is to swerve at speed or to like break a little bit just to like I said give you a little bit of time to think about things and then swerve. But like you have to swerve or break and swerve. You had to swerve. And that's what this guy did and he made it. It pays to really be comfortable on your bike and like being able to decipher if a situation could be avoided by breaking, swerving, or both. Good job, Rider Ray. Good job. You survived. You, you won the game. Crossing on a red man. <laughs> oh, you saw that they were gonna go too. That couple was about to go too. Could he have swerved here? Yes, he, he could have. But I will say, I'm not this guy. You're not that guy. Like maybe this kind of behavior is very common where this guy lives. And I mean, if I lived in the middle of a city where people were just walking into oncoming traffic, I mean, yeah, I'd probably be a little annoyed too, you know? Would I have done what he did? Probably not. But at the same time, if I lived in his shoes, maybe. Roundabouts. We have a lot of Moto Madness clips that take place in roundabouts. Yay! Red car, what are you doing? Why, red car? You were not fast enough. This boy thinks he's Lightning McQueen. Oh, man. I'm jealous. Like, I'm at the point now where I can kind of get it consistently popping up. Amazed. In second gear, but like, I can't do anything close to what this guy's doing. Okay, there's a phone. Just keep riding, dude. Oh, no. Ugh. So yeah, the minute I see the phone sticking out of the car, I probably would have just kept on riding. If she wants your plate that badly, she can just chase you for it, you know? <laughs> With her little minivan. Listen, listen, I'm just practicing. I'm not, I don't mean to cause any harm. Uh, you can ask me I mean... You're in front of your kid. I mean, even though she's really annoying, she does have a point. Oh, do you? Do you live in this bush right here or something? <laughs> I live on this road! No comebacks, just right back, right back to the phone. I will happily move. I, I'm just trying to practice. I'm doing something positive. I guess, like, I mean, it's better than other things you could be doing. Boring old... I'm leaving to get out of your hair, and so we don't waste anyone's time. We clearly see that it's not welcome here. We thought it wasn't busy, so we thought, you know, well, I'll practice. You see, I, I don't know. I would have just rode off, at, you know, way before any of this would have happened. There also is that fact that, even though I hate to say it, she does kind of have a point. Is wheeling the safest thing? No, it's not. Is practicing wheelies on public roads the safest thing you could be doing? No. But is it super fun to do? And could he be doing this in a worse place? Like a more riskier place with more cars? Yes, he could be. And this is why there will always be a war between the Karens who don't like anything too out of the ordinary happening on their day. And then you have the stunty boys who are hooked on their stoppies, wheelies, drifties. Because the feeling you get from those things are unlike anything else. Yeah, both have valid points. I mean, like, the war between fun and safety will probably go on till the sun explodes. Or maybe before that, if they ban gas-powered vehicles. That'll be a very sad day. Just ride, dude. Just ride. You're not gonna convert her. What's up, man? Yeah, what's up? I can put a uh, 15 bucks in your tank. Is that cool, man? That's a good guy. Just go ahead and park. I'll go inside and run in in there. All right, man. I only had 10 on my card, but I got Oh, $5 just vanished. <laughs> <laughs> now, I already know that there's going to be people going, well, would he have done that if he wasn't filming? And the answer, honestly, is we will never know. And that's the thing. I know there's a lot of people out there where they have that mindset where, like, you should only really be doing good deeds if you're not getting some sort of benefit, like clout or money from it. It's, like, wrong and unacceptable to be gaining something out of helping somebody else. But I've always kind of disagreed with that a little bit. There are channels out there that give way more than 10 bucks. And I don't think people realize it takes money to give money. You need to have some sort of money to be able to give said money away. When you make content out of it, the viewers win because they get that wholesome, nice video. It gives you that warm feeling that watching people getting decimated on bikes won't do for you. The receiver wins because they get 10 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks, Jordan, something. And then the uploader wins because they get clout, which leads to views, which leads to money. And then with money, you can use that to do another video, giving more money to more people. So you see, you see what I'm saying? Like, I've never gotten the point on hating people for that. So yeah, sorry for the tangent. I've just been seeing comments like that on other people's videos, and it's like, well, you're not giving it from the heart. There's an ulterior motive. People just can't emotionally handle being given a few bucks or watching other people get given a few bucks if the act is being recorded. So, I mean, it is what it is. Pride is a thing. But regardless, good on that guy. Oh, snap. Okay, they're fighting. Now, this is a game of chicken now. He 100% sees him. Oh, he won. 
He won! <laughs> wow! The title of this clip is, Am I Invisible? No, you're not. He knows you're there. He knows you're there because he didn't just move over fully into that lane. This is an example of a biker playing chicken with a car and actually winning. <laughs> Do I recommend playing chicken with cars? No. If they lose, they get a little dent in their Ford Focus. If you lose, you lose bone structural integrity, skin, flesh, brain cells. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Good, I mean, there wasn't a lot he could do there. He couldn't really swerve, you know? So, I mean, he had to rely on his braking. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, overtaking on blind corners, that's always a fun idea. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> that is a very wobbly and sturdy boy. Okay, so we have this boy here. Oh, we're slowing down too much? Yeah. Oh, the knees! Not the knees! That wasn't too bad. I don't think that was too bad. Yeah, see, this is the scary thing when you ride with your buddy. If they slow down and you're going too fast behind him, I mean, yeah, you could panic, you could kind of freeze up, and then you, uh, you break your knees. But this guy did not break his knees, I don't think, so... That ended pretty well, all things considered. Alright, what's gonna happen here? That kills a lot of people. That specific scenario kills a lot of people. Man, yeah, that could have been so bad. If he was going faster, that could have been... He, he could have died from that. Always slow down during intersections. Okay, we are vengeance. We are going back. We are gonna find this guy, and we are gonna eliminate him. Alright, let's see if we can find him. Is that him right there? Okay, let's see what he does. Yeah, th that, that's a good way to handle it. I mean, get the plate, let the cops deal with it. Maybe, if the cops do anything. Yeah. When you're in busy spots like this, like... It's inevitable, that kind of stuff, you know? That's why you don't ever... You shouldn't really speed through areas like that. And roundabouts, we always have that one guy. We always have that one guy. Just doesn't know what to do in a roundabout and tries to kill you. And the clip is still going. Uh-oh. Something horrible is going to happen. The nerve! The nerve! Wow! That's like one of my biggest pet peeves is when you almost do something horrific and bad and then you just somehow find a way to make it seem like you're the victim in this whole situation and you just go back at it. I don't get it. People just refuse to be wrong. Roundabout again. See that? That's... This dude's... This dude's good at reading people. A lot of people would have just kept going through the roundabout, like, and picking up speed. Like, they would have not slowed down. Especially because, like, even the car didn't even put its blinkers on, right? So, like, most people would have no inclination this car was about to just swerve right. That's good instincts right there. A lot of people would have probably gotten hit in that scenario. Context, we are about to fell three times in a row. This is a really tight space. No, you can make that. Oh no, dude, it's... Th the road is raised, dude, you're not gonna be able to get back on. Oh, <laughs> he almost died. If he would have fallen, that would have been it. Policeman came, taunted, but... There's so much happening. Okay, so the police showed up, and they didn't help him. They're just leaving him to possibly die on oncoming traffic. Okay, he lifted the bike. I was scared it didn't start. That's not a good sign. Kill switch? Don't worry, it's gonna slip again. Oh, so he gets it to run. He gets it to run. His breathing, dude. Jesus Christ, <laughs> he almost hit this guy. He didn't look at his mirrors. He almost swerved out again. He didn't look. He almost hit the scooter guy behind him. Too much stuff, man. Too much stuff happened in that clip. What was that, India? India, man. India is a place. All right, so that was a time. That was a moment. Like, comment, subscribe. Almost at 200 subs, finally. And always grip it, rip it, and madness. Bye-bye.